Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the show. Welcome to Bull Talk by Joe. Today's episode, we're going to jump in into some, some crazy stuff that's been happening with police officers. Before I start, I want to give a shout out to two Mexicans and one Mike. Thank you for the t-shirt. My guys right here, finally, I get to wear it and and uh, sport it for you guys. I uh, really appreciate you guys sending me a t-shirt. It's really nice of you guys. Go check out their podcast. It's, uh, it's a really good podcast. And uh, you guys can listen to them on Spotify or, you know, all the platforms there is. So you can listen to podcasting. Also, there's uh, Danny, which is uh, one of the main hosts from the show. He's uh, He has his own his own solo podcast called Danny the Paper Champ. It's on YouTube and Spotify. Go check him out. It's really good stuff. Uh, this guy definitely has a gift when it comes to this kind of stuff, just podcasting. Uh, really cool guys. So thanks again, guys. I love his shirt. Appreciate it. So I wanted to talk about some of the things that have been going on with the, with the police officers. I mean, my buddy, my buddy Daniel, shout out to Daniel out in Chicago, Illinois. Uh, he sent me a video and uh, he's always he's always sending me stuff, you know, to talk about it in the podcast and uh, all kinds of stuff. Right. All kinds of information. And uh, he helps me a lot with that stuff. So he sent me a video about this. Uh, this arrest that happened in, I believe, Colorado. I can't remember the city in Colorado, but uh, these officers pulled this uh, lady over. I believe she was Hispanic. They pulled the lady over and they arrested her. They put her in the cop car and then they went to her car and they were going through it. And uh, the the body cam on the police officers, I don't know what the heck they're looking for. I don't know the, all the reports on it, but uh, they're looking for something. And all of a sudden you hear you hear noise, right? You hear, and it's a train. So they left the police car in the middle of the train tracks with this person inside. How, how stupid can you be? You're supposed to be a police officer. You're supposed to protect and serve. It doesn't matter if you, you arrested a criminal you cannot leave your car in the middle of the train tracks and walk away from it. So the train hits the police car and you can see the officers running towards it, calling emergency services and all kinds of stuff. And the last of it that, that you're able to see is the police car destroyed in pieces. Luckily, the lady lived. The lady lived and now they're suing them. Because the lady was yelling and screaming and telling them to get her out of the car. There was a train coming. And I don't know, maybe they couldn't hear her, whatever. But what was weird about it is the police car was in the middle of the train tracks facing, for instance, east. And the car that we're checking, the car that we're going through was about, I don't know, it looks like on the video it's about 50 feet away. And it's facing west. It's weird. So how do they unless there was two cop cars and they chased her down and uh, one ended up stopping the police car behind her in the middle of the train tracks. That makes zero sense to me. I don't know the whole thing of what happened, but leaving the cop car in the middle of the train tracks is stupidity to its fullest. You should know as a police officer, as somebody that's, that is hired to protect and serve, you should know better than to leave your car in the middle of the fucking train tracks because I don't know, there's a fucking train coming. I mean, I don't know if these people knew if the train was coming. I don't know if it was a racial thing, but I mean, come on, you're a police officer. You're not the fucking, you, you don't work for the train company. You know what I mean? So it's, it's, it's one of those things that, well, I don't know. I didn't know that train was coming. Well, how the fuck would you know that? The trains are constantly going. So it's like, why would you even think about leaving the police car in the middle of the train tracks and arresting the person and putting her there? That just makes no sense to me, guys. I'm going to be honest. That just seems like a bunch of bullshit to me. It uh, This happened in September 16th, which is the Mexican Independence Day. I'm not going to say it was some racism stuff going on. 
because the lady is Hispanic. That's what it seems like the name is. And it was during the Mexican Independence Day. So I'm not going to say that it was anything like that. I'm not going to assume. But it looks pretty shitty that you park your car like that in the middle of the train tracks and you stuff a person in there. I mean, what do you think is going to happen? It's, it's fucking obvious that a train might go through there. So why why do that? Usually, the car, the police car, is not in the middle of the train tracks. I mean, it's, it's common sense. Uh, these police officers are idiots because they did that. They shouldn't be doing that. They shouldn't be putting people in their car and leaving their fucking car in the middle of the fucking tracks. I mean, that's that's 100 percent bullshit. These people should be fired because we we us people think that, you know, we expect police officers to be professional. We expect them to to help us. We expect them to be the best of the best. Right. When it comes to this stuff, do we expect them to have complete common sense? Yes, they're human. And, oh, you know, I I. I was, I was, we were on a police chase and we got her down and we weren't thinking. I'm, that's one thing. You weren't thinking that you were in the middle of the fucking train tracks and just leaving the car there. I mean, that's, see, it's just the story doesn't add up, guys. This is, this is a bunch of bullshit. This is horrible. This is horrible policing. This is untrained police officers. And it's not, not just one. Okay. Okay. Maybe it was just one that pulled her, pulled her over and, and, Maybe the lady was dangerous and was put her in a cop car. Okay. There was two. Wouldn't you look at the officer and go, hey, dude, you parked your car in the middle of the train tracks. You should move it. No. So it, none of that was said. I mean, it's obvious that there's two people there. One of them has to have common sense, right? Of course not. So they just let this train hit this freaking car. And luckily, the lady lived. It doesn't matter if she's a criminal or not. That is That is not what you're supposed to be doing. You're supposed to have common sense as a police officer. That is the problem these days, guys, is people are just hiring people for the hell of it. It doesn't mean if you were in the military or if you're a doctor or if you're a teacher, it doesn't mean that you're fit to be a police officer. You have to have a lot of common sense when it comes to that job. And yes, I'm not a police officer and I'm sure it's dangerous. I'm sure it's hard. I'm sure when People are shooting at you or you're chasing somebody. I'm sure your adrenaline is going through the roof and you don't think of some things, but you get paid to do this. You get paid to think straight because you could, you could, you could definitely hurt somebody. So it's, I think that the police, I think that police departments should train their, their officers a little bit better. You know, not everybody is stupid like these people were. There's a lot of good police officers. It's just like anything else. There's a lot of good, good officers and there's a lot of, and there's some bad apples out there, just like anything else, right? People that abuse the power, people that, uh, that think if they have a badge, they think they can treat you like shit. They think they can mistreat you, uh, put you down. And they forget that we're, we're all on the same level. Just because you have a badge, it doesn't mean that you are judge dread. You can't just pull me over and then sentence me to whatever the hell you think that you want to sentence me for. It doesn't work that way. We trust we trust you guys. We trust the police officers, the people to help us, to defend us, to keep us out of harm's way. That's the way it should be. Not arrest us and put us in the car in the middle of the train tracks. That's stupid. Even if there was no train going by, you don't know that. You shouldn't be doing that. So, I mean, it's, it's the abuse of power. It's the stupidity that, that people use. You know, it's this is just not right. For instance, there was this lady uh, not too long ago, actually, on TikTok, a police officer in Washington. And this lady, this officer put up a video of her saying that I can drive 90 miles an hour, but you can't. And if you see me going behind you 90 miles an hour or whatever, get the fuck out of the way. I mean, are you kidding me? What kind of police officers are we hiring? What kind of what kind of what kind of people is this? You think that's okay? You, what did she get? A ten day suspension. That's all she got. That person should have been fired. There is no reason why they should act like that. Police officers should lead by example of being good, good people, because we depend on them. Okay, we don't need to hire a bunch of fucking clowns that as soon as they get a badge, they think they can do whatever the hell they want. No, lady. You don't get to go 90 miles an hour 
and fucking move people out of the way. You're a police officer. Unless you're in a fucking high speed pursuit and they're, you're chasing somebody down that's dangerous, you just don't have to ram people out of the way and go and make TikTok videos and talk shit. That looks stupid. You look like a moron. You're a police officer. First of all, I don't think that police officers should be making any fucking videos, TikTok videos or Instagram videos. And I know some people are not going to agree. Well, you know, there's a lot of good videos out there of them playing basketball and helping people like fuck that. You're a police officer. OK, if you want to make fucking videos, make videos on your own time. OK, make videos when you're at home. Don't make videos when you're out there protecting and serving the fucking community. That is stupidity. If you have time to fucking sit in your police car and make videos, that means you're not doing your fucking job. That's what that means. There is no reason why you should even be allowed to fucking sit there and make a fucking account and post shit like that in uniform. You want to have your TikTok account. You want to post pictures and videos. Do it on your own fucking time away. Don't use your fucking uniform. Because that's a disrespect for all the good police officers. That's a disrespect for all the police departments that are that follow the rules, that are good. That is a disrespect to them. This is a fucking clown show. You tell me, I am 100% positive that all the good police officers, all the good police departments frown upon this type of fucking shit. I am, I am positive that they look at this stuff and they're like, that's why they give us a bat rap. It's already fucked up as it is with everything that's happening and all the police brutality and all that bullshit that's been happening in this country that you go and you do videos of like that. You're basically telling people that you're above the law. You th that's bullshit. You're not above the law. You're a fucking cop. You're a cop. You are supposed to you're supposed to do the right thing at all times. Like I said, you are an example to to all the police officers. You have to do what's right. Just because you're in uniform, it doesn't give you the right to treat people like shit or to make videos of you talking shit to get the hell out of their way and all kinds of shit. I mean, this is ridiculous. Police departments should fire people like that. They shouldn't. There shouldn't be any suspensions or any slap on the wrist, slap on the hand. Oh, you know, we're going to send you home with no pay. You should fire them. Fire them. For putting the fucking cop car on the middle of the fucking train tracks because they're idiots. They should be fired. Fire the person that's making TikTok videos talking shit, basically saying that she's above the law. Fire them. That's what should happen. Because you know what? More people that are just like them are going to do stupid shit all the time. The, the rule should be you should not you should not be able to go and wear a uniform and make fucking videos, okay? Your job is to protect. Your job is to protect people. You want to make fucking videos? Go fucking go to on Halloween and buy yourself a bullshit ass badge and make a video on Halloween while you're trick or treating. Don't fucking make your videos in the fucking cop car and talk shit. Don't make videos of you dancing. Don't make videos of anything. We don't. I don't give a fuck how funny you think you are. You're a police officer. You should be helping. You should be protecting people. You should be stopping the actual criminals out there instead of making the fucking videos. I don't care if it's your lunchtime. It's a disrespect doing that with uniform. Okay, it's not right. It's just not right. There's a lot of good police officers out there. There's a lot, a lot of people that risk that put their their life on the line. And this that job is very, very hard. It's not an easy job to do. It is not. That doesn't mean because it's hard. It doesn't mean that, oh, we're just having fun. It's just it's just a fun video. It's just no, don't don't do it because you look stupid. You look stupid and then you post it and then you post the fucking videos. And it's like, why do you do that? Why do people why do people do that? And it's like it seems like like, like I said earlier, once you have power, once you get a badge, once you're a politician, once you're rich, once you're a millionaire, you feel like you can do whatever the hell you want. And it's not supposed to be that way. You know, it's not supposed to be that way. Hopefully, their, their fellow officers, hopefully they give them shit. Hopefully they fucking unfriend them. Hopefully they fucking tell them to their face, hey, don't ever fucking give us, don't ever put a fucking video like that again and make and give us a fucking bad name. 
And hopefully to the idiots that left the person in the middle of the train tracks, hopefully their fellow officers tell them, don't you ever fucking do that again or we're going to arrest you. That's why this country is the way it is, guys, because before I'm sure this should happen before, but there was not social media. Now there's social media everywhere. No matter what people can post, people can record. It's everywhere. So now they can't hide, but they don't even want to hide. They fucking do the videos themselves. It's it's stupidity to this fullest. So if you're a police officer, thank you very much for those that do the right thing every day take care of their families take care of the take care of us you know that protect us that take down the real criminals you know thank you very much you guys are uh you guys are are the best you guys have a hard job and and uh it's not easy putting your life in the line for other people right it's it's an honor it's an honorable job and uh we thank you for that and for those that are just idiots don't wear a badge Go find some some other fucking job to do. Go fucking back some groceries or something or or be a security guard somewhere. Get, stay away from good people. Stay away from doing stupid things like that. Don't do that. Pick a different career. If you want to if, if you want to show off, you want to make videos, pick a different career. Go be a comedian or something. Don't put people's lives at risk. We need you to protect us. Until next time. Peace.